beginning of the campaign. So let's start talking about the fundamental analysis. Yesterday, I told you the various terms which are coined into the share market, which are used in the share market. You must have observed it. You refer through any of the pink papers, any of the business papers, any of the business websites. You'll keep seeing that they keep on using these terminologies very frequently. Now, I'll talk about that if I want to invest in any company, if there is a person who is telling me that this company is good or that company is good, there has to be a reason behind that. And that reason should be the strong fundamentals related to a company. Now, what do we mean by fundamentals? Does fundamental mean only the financials of the company? Answer is no. Financials, in fact, is the last benchmark for the purpose of deciding that what should be the company's price. That's a different thing altogether. There are n number of different aspects. And out of that, I'll talk about the major aspects which affect the fundamentals of a company, which affect the analysis related to a company. The very first in that is, if you're talking about the fundamentals of the company, the very first thing that I would be focusing upon is the existence of the organization. The first is existence. Why I need to focus upon the existence? Because if a company ka existence is very hai, if there is a long-standing company in the market, if that company has got the strong existence over the period of time, that means they have seen the fluctuations in the industry. They have seen the ups and downs of the industry. They have survived through those ups and downs. And based on that, the company will be treated as a better company fundamentally because when market is growing, there are a lot companies add hote jati hai. But does not mean that every company will be able to survive with all the downfalls as well. Like if I give you the example of the IT industry. Since 1993, the IT industry started growing. The IT industry started having the boost because the LPG was announced in the year 1991. And after the LPG, the IT company started having the demand from all over the world because the Indian economy had become the global economy or open economy. And because of that open economy, the IT world or the uh, services sector started growing. Now, what happened growth? Ke kya hua? Ki sari companies add hoti ki. Initially, there was only, say, the company like Patni Computer System. There was this company like uh, Wipro, which was into the IT sector till the TCS was there, but Infosys was not there till then. Satyam Computers was not there. Tech Mahindra was not there. These all companies started coming into the IT foray only after seeing that there is a growth in that particular industry. There is a boom in that particular industry. So they started entering and then there were a number of companies coming in. Like there is this company called as Saibay, there is this company called as Sintel, there is the company called as MDoc. Some of the companies are international companies, some of the companies are local Indian companies. Now, when these companies started coming, market survive market But when that 2001 bubble came out, when Harshad Mehta's scam came out, during that period, remember a point, us samay pe Infosys ke ek share ki face value jis ki 10 rupay thi, us ki market price 16,000 rupay thi, 16,000 rupees for a share of rupees 10 only. 10 rupay face value wala share. 16,000 rupay mein survive kar raha hai, 16,000 rupay mein trade ho raha hai, loog kharitte bechte de, 16,000 rupay. But that was a bubbled value. That was the value which was created by creating the cartels. When this bubble broke out of that IT industry, at that time, many of the companies started shutting their business down. Why? Because they knew that they cannot survive with the lower margins. They cannot survive with the lower profits. Because their employee cost was so big that they have to bear with that. 
and then they started falling down. So when you are looking at a company, you should first of all look at to what extent, since when this company is into existence, if a company is having the long standing, longer the existence period, better will that company be. This is not the only benchmark. This is one of the criteria for deciding the fundamental analysis. So existence, longer, the better. I'll tell you, because I am residing in Pune now, and because I know that there are certain businesses who have got the permanency in their business activities, in one of the example in that is Chite Bandhu Mithai Wale. Now, Chite Bandhu Mithai Wale, by that way, is one of the fantastic organizations, no doubt about it, based on their products, based on the services that they provide. Services, not only products. Services to abhi abhi provide karna chalu ki hai. Had these people not adapted with the changes, had these people not upgraded with the changes, then even the organization like Chitre Bandhu Mithai Wale would have got shut down. I've got an example which has got shut down very recently because of something which had happened some three or four years earlier because of the Ekatom Academy. I hope you are understanding what I'm talking about. The point is what that the existence longer the better, but at the same time, the technological upgrades. Technological upgrades. I would say instead of using the term as technical uh, technological upgrades only. I would say whether the given organization has updated with the adapted with the latest innovations or not. But if people have such opinion, where would potential companies get the capital from? Miss Khushi Sharma, please remember a point. Here we are not talking about the fresh investments into the companies. The startups, the new organizations, anyways do not get listed immediately. The startups, the new organizations initially get the money from the venture capitalists, from the private equities, from the banking industries, from the financial institutions. They don't come to the public as such and no one will be paying. Why should I be investing into a new company which is just a startup? I don't believe in that company because I cannot take the risk with any and every organization. And therefore it is said that you should be making the investments into the long-standing companies only. I'm talking about trading in the secondary market. I'm talking about the investment in the share market. There you should not be losing the money for that purpose, which kind of company should be selected is what we are talking about. All right. We are not talking about the organizations requiring the fresh capital. We are talking about the organizations which are already listed on the stock exchanges and their fundamental analysis. All right. Now, technological upgrades, I would say whether they have adapted with the current scenarios or not. Because if the organization has not adapted, even if it is a long standing organization, remember the point very carefully what I'm talking about. If an organization do not adapt with the current scenarios, even if it is having the long standing, it may not survive for a very long in future. And when you are making the investment, you are expecting that this company should grow. And if the company is expected to grow, it is expected to adapt. Growth comes with upgrades. Growth comes with the adaption with the situation. And therefore, you also should look after whether the company in which... Now, here, the best examples that I can provide to you is Tata Steel kind of organization. Earlier called as Telco. No, sorry. Uh, yes, Telco, Tisco. Not Telco. Telco was Tata Motors. Uh, Telco is Tata Motors and Tisco. Tata Iron and Steel Company. This was the name of that organization earlier. Now it is called as Tata Steel. 
this is a very old organization mr Shams, uh, mr jamshed ji tata incorporated that organization when that organization has come into existence now even today why they are able to survive because they are adapting with the additional activities adapting with the new requirements agar main iron ore ko refine karke sirf steel sheet hi bana ke bechunga main iske alawa aapko kuch bhi nahi dunga to aap burn nahi paoge par aap iron steel ko main steel ko refine karke aapko jis form mein chahiye steel sheets chahiye steel plates chahiye steel rods chahiye i can make it for you if you are adapting with the requirements of the customer you will be growing faster or you will be growing in the long term as well then the very third aspect in this is diversification what do i mean by diversification diversification means basically whether the company is into a single product segment or single group seg segment or into the multiple product or multiple group segment understand the point if you take an example of organization like wipro yeah reliance also is one of the best example in that but i'm deliberately taking a kind of sidelined example a company which is a kind of sideliner always having happiness with what they are doing wipro is such a diversified company wipro has electricals wipro has food products wipro has it hardware business wipro has the it software business wipro has the fmcg business so what is happening of course they are into the <clears throat> they are into the real estate as well we are not aware here because we are located in pune they are located in bengaluru and their majority of the business is into the real estate as well when the company is having such kind of multi pore investment मल्टी पोरे बिजनेस अगर एक बिजनेस नहीं चल रहा है दूसरा चलेगा फिलानथ्रापी इज डोनेशन मिस्टर गौरव पाटिल फिलानथ्रापी इज वन ऑफ द मेजर रिक्वायरमेंट फॉर एनी एंड एवरी कंपनीज नाउ देर इज एन और रिक्वायरमेंट एज पर द कंपनीज एक्ट इट सेल दैट यू हैव टू डू द कॉर्पोरेट सोशल रिस्पॉन्सिबिलिटी यू हैव टू डू द फिलानथ्रापिकल एक्टिविटीज so it's not that because wipro is having the multi diversified business that's why they are supposed to do the philanthropy that has to be done by every organization even tata group does is even reliance does that all right kirloskers have the multi diversified company tatas have multi diversified no doubt about it if you take the example of tata sons if not tata steel tata motors tata tea tata coffee etc philanthropy manje ये बिलांथ्रापी बोल लो नहीं नहीं जय जाड़े फिलानथ्रापी फिलानथ्रापी मींस डोनेशंस मेरे जैसे गरीबों पे जब लोग खर्चा करते हैं दैट इज फिलानथ्रापी समझा क्या और तू उस लाइन में बहुत पीछे खड़े रहता है तेरा नंबर कभी नहीं लगेगा समझा क्या हाँ सो so, the point is what diversification brings a kind of balance into the business of the organization if one of the business is getting the setback there will be the another business to support the business activity and that's why diversified businesses are always the better businesses does that mean the company which is dealing into a single product or group of products will be having any kind of problem answer is no even a company is doing if even if the company is doing only a single segment product like if you take the example of the company like arvin mills the arvin mills primarily is a company which is into the cloth manufacturing aap jitne bhi tarah ke denims ki baat kar lo jo hum log upper class ki baat karte hain ek jo achhi category ke denims aate hain usme se 
ninety percent of the denims are made out of the cloth which is manufactured by Irwin Mills. So, whatever is the situation, still today they are able to survive. आप न्यूपोर्ट ब्रांड ले लो आप लिवाइस ब्रांड ले लो आप लिव इन ब्रांड ले लो आप ली कूपर ब्रांड ले लो इफ यू टेक द ब्रांड लाइक वाई टू के एनी ऑफ द ब्रांड इन टू द डेनिम्स और जीन्स यू टेक द एग्जाम्पल ऑफ दे ऑल ए लुटान भाई साहब हम लोग ऐसे ब्रांड्स की बात कर रहे हैं जो कपड़े हम खुद पहन सकते हैं लुई विटान बेटा हमारी सोच में भी नहीं बैठता है उसके प्रोडक्ट कहां से खरीदेंगे उसका फर्स्ट कॉपी भी मेरे को महंगा पड़ता है तो मालूम है उसका फर्स्ट कॉपी भी मैं परचेज नहीं कर सकता इतना महंगा आता है और तू ओरिजिनल की बात कर लुई विटान एक को ले रहे कहां से आते हैं ये लोग उनको छोड़ क्या हो रहे ना लुई विटान देखो मालूम है मैं पहली बार जब लुई विटान का लोगो देखा था ना एल एंड देन बी मैं पहली बार उसको वी एंड एल पढ़ा था वी एल एंड नॉट एल वी उसके बाद में मुझे किसी स्टूडेंट ने बताया सर ये एल वी है वी एल नहीं और फिर मैंने उसको पूछा था कि इसका नाम क्या एल वी मतलब क्या है ये क्या है लुई विटॉन कहता है बहुत बड़ा ब्रांड है मर्केंडाइजिंग का एंड इसके बारे में कहा जाता है कि अगर आप लुई विटॉन के शोरूम में चले जाओ वहां इफ यू आर गोइंग इन टू द कैजुअल वेयर डोंट इवन अलाउ यू टू एंटर द शोरूम फॉरगेट अबाउट द परचेसिंग ये सिर्फ एस एम सर कैटेगरी है अपने बात अपने बस की बात नहीं है दिक्कत यह है कि एस एम सर को अरमानी के अलावा कुछ पसंद नहीं आता है ओके ना सो अरविंद मिल काइंड ऑफ कंपनी इज ऑल्सो गुड बट द पॉइंट इज वॉट अरविंद मिल इज इन टू द डाइवर्सिफिकेशन विद इन देयर प्रोडक्ट इट वो उसी में अलग अलग आजकल तो अरविंद मिल इज एक्चुअली द अनलिमिटेड ब्रांड द अनलिमिटेड मॉल्स विच आर देयर These are owned by Arvind Mills only. Mega Mart जो ब्रांड था वो अरविंद मिल का ही ब्रांड है सो दे आर ऑल्सो ट्राइंग टू डाइवर्सिफाई बट ओरिजिनली दे आर नॉट अ डाइवर्सिफाइड कंपनी ये वन ऑफ द बेस्ट एग्जाम्पल फेंटेस्टिक एग्जाम्पल ऑफ डाइवर्सिफाइड कंपनी आई टी सी बट वॉट एपन्स इज आई टी सी इज डाइवर्सिफाइंग ओनली टू अ वेरी लिमिटेड एक्सटेंड इवन टूडे फॉर योर काइंड इंफॉर्मेशन Around 80% of the ITC's revenue come from even today. Around 80% of ITC's revenue come from their tobacco business. They are having the business of hotels. They are having the business of the uh, companies like oh, sorry the products like uh, FMCG. They have the garment industry. They are into it. Chaupal Sagar is one of the fantastic invention of ITC, but the point is what that these all organizing, yeah, Aditya Birla, Adani Group, these are the group companies. We are talking about the individual company. Parle Agro can be entered into that. There is no problem. So, anyways, we have understood the concept. Is what I have understood. Ha, huh, class note se bata, class book nahi hai. Class note, uh, class class mate naam se unka notebook aata hai. Class book notebook nahi. Classmate नाम से नोटबुक आता है। Anyways, so you understood the concept that you, the more the diversification, the better the diversification, the balance the diversification, the better that organization will be. All right? Then the next thing that you should be looking after is the management of the organization. If the management of the organization if the manage just just a moment okay what i'm talking about in the management now is मैनेजमेंट क्या करता है मैनेजमेंट का कंपोजिशन क्या है उससे बहुत ज्यादा इंपैक्ट होता है ऑर्गेनाइजेशन के फ्यूचर डिसीजन में क्योंकि अगर मैनेजमेंट एग्रेसिव होगा तो ऑर्गेनाइजेशन ग्रोथ एस्पेक्ट पे जाएगा अगर मैनेजमेंट डिफेंसिव होगा तो भी ऑर्गेनाइजेशन स्टेबलाइज कर जाएगा सो so, 
understand the point one when you are looking after the management of the organization for how long the same management is continuing during that particular period how is the organization process pro proceeding these are the things that we should be looking after now ab ye management humko kahan se pata chalega unka humko स्ट्रक्चर कैसे पता चलेगा ये सारी चीजें जो मैंने इतनी सारी लिखी हैं ये हमें पता कहां से चलेगा तो इन सब चीजों के लिए द बेस्ट सोर्स अवेलेबल इज द एन्युअल रिपोर्ट्स ऑफ द ऑर्गेनाइजेशन आप कहोगे सर एन्युअल रिपोर्ट में तो सब कुछ अच्छा अच्छा ही लिखा होगा मैं ऐसा कहा कह रहा हूं कि एन्युअल रिपोर्ट में बुरा बुरा लिखा रहना चाहिए annual report may they will keep on providing a lot of details related to what the organization is doing how the organization is carrying out the activities what are the latest activities related to the organization what are the future expectations of the organization ye sari cheeze ab kaise pata chalti hai and one of the more important aspect now comes the financials of the organization friends i am trying to only focus on the major aspects related to the fundamental analysis still there are n number of things that we can do the analysis with like uske bare mein main aur bhi detail mein aata hu pehle main aapko annual report dikha deta hu kahan kahan kya kya information aap dekh sakte ho let's observe it let's go into let's say itc uh in that in the website in every company's website you'll be finding that there is a link called as investors relation investors ka ek link hamesha hoga har company ke website par within that they have got the general information अब यहां पे बहुत सारी यहां अगर आप ऑब्जर्व करो आईटीसी के केस में हियर जान भाई देर इज समथिंग कॉल्ड एज जी डी आर इफ यूर ऑब्जर्व दीज जी डी आर आर द ग्लोबल डिपॉजिटरी रिसीट अगर आपको इंडिया के अलावा लग्जमबर्ग लंडन या किसी फॉरेन कंट्री में या अमेरिका में अपने शेयर्स को लिस्ट करवाना हो तो वहां डायरेक्टली आपके शेयर्स लिस्ट नहीं करवा सकते हो वहां आप अपने शेयर्स सरेंडर करके उसके अगेंस्ट यू कलेक्ट द रिसीट्स फ्रॉम दोज कंपनीज फ्रॉम दोज गवर्नमेंट फ्रॉम दोज एक्सचेंजेस एंड दोज रिसीट आर कॉल्ड एज जी डी आर और एडीआर GDRs are what global depository receipts and ADRs are American depository receipts. All right. Now, so ये listing के बाद अगर मैं इसमें listing में चले जाऊँ तो वो कहाँ कहाँ कब कब listed है? Company share capital GDRs they have given companies global depository receipts are listed in Luxembourg Stock Exchange. At the Society de la Bourse. of luxembourg stock exchange then they have got the listing at kolkata stock exchange they have got the listing at mumbai stock exchange they have got the listing at national stock exchange these are the various places where why global and american are considered separately america hamesha alag consider karta hai beta baki ke ek jaise aur america ek jaise ek ek tarah वो होता है ना दुनिया के खुदाई एक तरफ जोरू का भाई एक तरफ इट्स दैट काइंड ऑफ कैटेगरी यू नो अमेरिका इज एवरीवन जोरू का भाई दैट इज द काइंड ऑफ सिचुएशन कोलकाता हैज अ स्टॉक एक्सचेंज दे हैव गॉट 22 स्टॉक एक्सचेंजेस आउट ऑफ व्हिच टू आर द रिकॉग्नाइज्ड स्टॉक एक्सचेंज दैट इज बीएससी एंड एनएससी देन आई विल so this is the basic information related to the companies further to that uh, i'll i'll just come on to that investors relations once again annual report if you come into
and i'm just downloading it just a moment these are the reports for 2020 21 uh, 1920 चल भाई ओपन करना इट्स नॉट कमिंग अप वो क्या बहुत बड़ा पीडीएफ होता है पहले ये एक्चुअल बुकलेट्स आया करते थे हर किसी के घर में पर आजकल वो प्रिंटेड फॉर्म की बजाय सॉफ्ट कॉपी फॉर्म में देते हैं लेट्स सी इफ रिलायंस वर्क्स आईपैड का प्रॉब्लम नहीं है रे क्या तुम लोग ना सच्ची में बीच में कहां से आईपैड वाली स्टोरी लेके आ जाते हो तुम कोई पता है इन्वेस्टर रिलेशन दैट्स मैंडेटरी फॉर एवरी ऑर्गेनाइजेशन नाउ इट इज इन फैक्ट डाउनलोड्स financial reporting we we'll look at half yearly half yearly no it is not there i'm just trying to show you for the sake of understanding टाटा मोटर्स का हो फुली इन रिपोर्ट जल्दी खुल जाएगा उसकी तो वेबसाइट भी जल्दी नहीं खुल रही है एनुअल रिपोर्ट का जल्दी से खुलेगा प्रतीक्षा आई टी सी का एनुअल रिपोर्ट व्हाट्सएप पे कोई उपयोग नहीं है बिकॉज आई कैन नॉट डाउनलोड इट हियर अरे भाई प्रॉब्लम कंपनी का नहीं है प्रॉब्लम कनेक्टिविटी का है नॉट गेटिंग थ्रू वही यूज करता हूं जय जाड़े I just try to do it on my laptop itself if it works. getting open investors ko kya dikha rahe hain so i can all that itc search just a moment connectivity chahiye pratiksha ke jaisi ha phada phad download karke bhej diya usko to fayda nahi ho raha hai uska
of course the this is very good uh, kind of observation mr anonymous people who keep on taking the seminars on how to do the investment in the share market etc those people those people should be more than bigger than ambani's in the current scenario why they are not able to survive for a very long is because they cannot they know that share market mein risk zyada hai returns kam hai they understand this very well as compared to anyone else no there is it's of only 2019 2020 annual report anyways that that doesn't make a difference we'll look into the 2019 report itself see you no know, here but they have not uploaded the whole one okay anyways uh you will be able to find it in the annual book you will be able to find these all information what i've just talked about in the annual report of a company till that point in time i'll just come into the financials and the uh, ancillary kind of activities that you can look after for the companies now what are the ancillaries that you can look after the additional things number one products what kind of product that the company is dealing into because the product is very much important whether this product in which the company is dealing whether such kind of product has got the requirement demand in the market or not whether the demand is growing declining etc so nature of product you have to also look after the market share of the company ki agar suppose aap pharmaceutical industry ka example lo cipla is one of the renowned company for their range of uh, asthmatic products none of the companies other than cipla has got the asthmatic range as good as cipla and that's why cipla is able to survive in the asthmatic range like anything is in, in during this covid period they were making the sales like anything because any and everyone who was making any kind of complaint related to the breath then immediately they were given the nebulizers they were given the kind of inhaling exhaling activities so these all things were done or these all things in in these things basically cipla is one of the major business owners so that's what we have to understand that what kind of product you are dealing into what kind of market share you have and in the long run if you look at the country like india these asthmatic problems breathing troubles will increase further because we are living in the situation where there is a huge pollution and the breathing troubles will keep continuing so accordingly the company which is basically into that range why will not that company be growing at the same time now at least for next two years it should be observing any and every company which has brought the vaccine related to covid this company is going to have the and a handsome profits for next 5 to 10 years why because agle ek saal mein aapko sirf vaccine de diya matlab aap bach gaye aisa nahi hai what they will do afterwards is they will add this covid vaccine into the list of different vaccination which is given to the kids which means they have got the huge long standing upcoming market this is the aspect that you have to focus when you are talking about the fundamental analysis aaj tak fundamental analysis matlab kya kaha jata tha ki aapne sirf company ka pe ratio dekhna hai aapne company ka pat ratio dekhna hai aapne company ka ebitda dekhna hai and once you look after the company's pe company's pat company's ebitda that means you are doing good this is a fantastic analysis now what these are let's talk about that pe is price to earning ratio market price of the share to the earning of the share is called as pe ratio now why pe ratio is important to understand whether the given company's shares are overpriced or underpriced 
अभी हम लोग कैसे डिसाइड करते हैं मान लो सेंसेक्स सेंसेक्स जो है ये सेंसेक्स जो है दिस ऑर्गेनाइजेशन और दिस इंडेक्स इज बेसिकली द वेटेड एवरेज ऑफ दो थर्टी शेयर आई टोल्ड यू ऑलरेडी अब इन थर्टी कंपनीज का प्रॉफिट थर्टी कंपनीज का प्रॉफिट पर शेयर प्रॉफिट पर शेयर इज चेक और उसके बाद सेंसेक्स का वैल्यू चेक किया जाता है the value of sensex and then what do we do value up on profit per share kyunki har company ke profit per share divide by 30 we get the profit per share for the sensex value based on that we get the pe of sensex and once you get the pe for sensex to aapko ek standard samajh mein aa jata hai ki market ka price to earning kitna hona chahiye us particular sensex mein jo 30 shares hai unka standard matlab we are trying to create a kind of benchmark ab suppose kisi company ka pe is less than benchmark jo bhi aapka benchmark indices hai उससे उस कंपनी का प्राइस टू अर्निंग रेशियो अगर कम है देन इन दैट केस इट इज कॉल्ड एज अंडर प्राइज कंपनी वेयर एज इफ द पीई इज ग्रेटर देन द बेंचमार्क इन दैट केस इट इज कॉल्ड एज ओवर प्राइज कंपनी तो इस बेसिस पे आप तय कर सकते हैं कि कंपनी का प्राइस सही है या नहीं फॉर द पर्पज ऑफ इन्वेस्टमेंट जनरली स्पीकिंग यू शुड बी मेकिंग नाउ दीज पीई आर नॉट कंसीडर्ड ओनली ऑन द बेस ऑफ द प्रेजेंट वैल्यूज फॉरवर्ड पीई कंसीडर करके हम लोग प्राइसिंग चेक करते हैं फॉरवर्ड पीई मतलब क्या 2021 में कंपनी का प्रॉफिट रेंज क्या होगा 2022 में कंपनी का प्रॉफिट रेंज क्या होगा उस हिसाब से आज कंपनी का प्राइस कितना है उस हिसाब से हम तय करते हैं कि आज कंपनी अंडर प्राइस है ये इस वैल्यू तक के जाएगी जो मैं आपको बार बार कहता हूं दैट इन द शेयर मार्केट फैक्टर्स इन द फ्यूचर विद इन दैट राइट सिमिलरली देर इज द कंसेप्ट ऑफ पैट दैट इज प्रॉफिट आफ्टर टैक्सेस If there is a continuous growth in the profit after taxes, it indicates the better prospects for the organization. Growing trend, you find the multiple trends. Growing trend, falling trend, or you may also find the fluctuating trend. if you are finding the growing trend that's a company which will surely be showing you the profits even in the future come what the situation may be but if the company is showing the falling trend that company is not the company in which you should be making the investment whatsoever is the fundamentals of that company from the perspective of their product their uh, management agar management acha hota to unhone kabhi profit ko gir nahi nahi diya hota there should have been the continuous increasing trend बट अगर उनका वो जो जिस इंडस्ट्री में है वो मार्केट ही कंटिन्यूस गिर रहा है इसका मतलब दे शुड डाइवर्सिफाई एंड इफ देयर इज अ फ्लक्चुएशन देन इन दैट केस बेस्ड ऑन द अदर फैक्टर्स यू शुड बी डिसाइडिंग वेदर दिस कंपनी इज गुड टू इन्वेस्ट और नॉट एंड देन कम्स द एबिटा दिस इज व्हाट वी कॉल एज द कैश प्रॉफिट बिफोर इंटरेस्ट एंड टैक्सेस दैट इज अर्निंग्स before interest depreciation and taxes is called as ebitda 
अब आपका एबेटा मतलब अर्निंग बिफोर इंटरेस्ट डिप्रीसिएशन एंड टैक्सेस अगर बढ़ रहा है दैट मींस यू आर हैविंग द बेटर प्रॉफिट प्रोस्पेक्ट्स क्योंकि जैसे जैसे आपका प्रॉफिट बढ़ता रहेगा आपका टैक्स का आउटफ्लो भी बढ़ता रहेगा पर उसके साथ-साथ आपका इंटरेस्ट का आउटफ्लो कम होता रहेगा एंड दैट्स व्हाई फैट एंड एबिटा दीस आर द टू बेंचमार्क्स व्हिच आर लुक्ड आफ्टर हैंड इन हैंड फॉर द पर्पस ऑफ डिसाइडिंग whether I should be investing into a particular company or not. So what do we do in the fundamental analysis? If you would be observing, is we first look at the background of the organization. We make a background check of the organization. We try to observe. We try to identify whether the given company has got some strength within that fundamentally or not, from the organization point of view or not. From the perspective of their people or not, from the perspective of their product or not. एक बार वो पता चल गया, तब जाके हम लोग financials check करते हैं कि इनका top line मतलब sales revenue ये grow हो रहा है या stabilize हो रहा है? इनका जो profits हैं, वो बढ़ रहे हैं या नहीं? इनका जो EBITDA है, ये भी बढ़ रहा है या नहीं? And then whether that particular company's share prices are reasonably valued or no. And once I have done this particular background check, the pricing check, the financials check, then I decide whether I should be making the investment in the given company or not. Or ek baat aapko bata dhu, agar is tarah ka fundamental analysis aapne kiya hua hai, is tarah ka detailed analysis agar aapne kisi company ke baare mein kar liya ho, so you will surely be having the better kind of prospects in your investing journey. I have already warned you with reference to the trading journey. You should always do investment because the long-term investments in the share market also give the better tax-free returns. I hope these two sessions what I took yesterday and today have helped you. We'll surely be talking about my strategy, but not in today's session. I'll be taking the separate session for the live trading and us samay pe mein aapko strategy bataunga aur uska background bhi dunga aapko mein. Uska background bhi dunga ki on what basis I've decided that strategy. And then we'll be having the further discussion. Tomorrow's session will again be back on depreciation. And then we'll continue. Thank you.